quick dev tip. So here's a good optimizing tip for you. Did you know in Unreal 4 you can use a console command to generate a list of all the objects that are ticking in your scene? So this is really easy to do. If we play our level and we go to the console command and we go dump ticks. So you won't see anything, but what it's actually done is if we go to Windows, Developer Tools, Output Log. So what you can see here is a, is a list of all the actors that are ticking in your current level. Now I've only got a small level, but there's already quite a lot of them. So here you can see we did the console command and then it's building a list. The things we're looking for kind of importantly here are basically just kind of what it is. The name of the actor or the thing, and then whether it's enabled or disabled. So as you can see here, we've got a lot of enabled. It's a bit hard to, to view it in this. So one thing I like is come in to where my project is, go to saved logs, and then open up the log, which is effectively the same file. So we want to scroll down to that same kind of point where we've got dump ticks. And what I can do is I can highlight one row, shift, and then just do page down. So what we can do is take, take that information, copy, come into uh, open office calc, which is completely free. I can do tabs, commas, and then OK. And that's going to split it into something that I find a little bit more easy and readable. And for example, I can sort some of these. How I'd use this is I'd look through, see what's enabled. Now, this, this actor is repeating. So this is something I'd go back and look at. So this actor itself, if we go inside, really not much in it. Um, I would say it doesn't actually need to tick by itself. It's fine, but if you imagine that we've got an open world game where we could have that actor spread across the world in loads of locations, you know, this this can start to add up. And I just want to show you an example here. So let's look at our game thread, which is what we're looking for for tick. 19 milliseconds. Now, if we go in to this actor and we remove the tick, so we're going to disable this. Save, compile, go back, press play. So we're now running at 16. So we've saved like roughly 4, four ms um, by literally turning like turning tick off on this one thing which didn't necessarily need it anyway. I found out about this the hard way um, and honestly it's super useful to know. I would, I would do this periodically through your project, see if anything is ticking that doesn't need to tick. It's like a super easy way to find things that can be optimized easily.